W3, Myth Madness. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's me, Vicstar123, with some interchange gameplay. And this isn't actually my gameplay. Most of you guys will probably know ZJDD. He's an absolutely beast player. And he got a 77 second MOB on interchange, MOAB, whatever you want to call it. He was being really aggressive with the ACR silenced. And I just thought it was a really impressive gameplay that I wanted to share with you guys. So the uh, link to his channel will be in the description. He started fairly recently, and also, uh, just to top it off, the uh, co-producer for Myth Madness, Chris, I also have him here with me somewhere. Uh, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, alright there guys, what's up, this is Chris. And uh, we're going to be doing a bit of a dual commentary, so his channel will also be in the description, and you know, we just wanted to address uh, one thing that... Uh, actually, Myth Madness is a uh, dual series that we're both running because I know Chris has been having some issues with that on on his channel, haven't you, Chris? Yeah, on my channel and on Respawn as well. Uh, you know, we started the series together, we're still producing it together, and that's the way it's going to stay. Yeah, no, a lot of people are like, this is Vic's series, this is Chris's series, so we just thought we'd get that out there, clear the air, and that's all good. So, uh, another thing we just wanted to talk about a little bit is you know, the production behind the episodes, because there's a lot that kind of goes on to create the episodes. We're both really strained for time. Um, we're both, you know, studying A-level kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, it takes quite a lot of time to film the episode. So actually, I'm going to let Chris uh, tell you about kind of what we do, um, what we're planning to do after we've actually recorded this commentary. So why don't you just go through kind of what we have to do on the Xbox side of things. Yeah, okay, mate. Uh, yeah, basically, the episodes all start off by getting the comments, which we get generally from the description. Uh, you know, you leaving the comments is fantastic. It gives us ideas, brings, you know, the kind of the myths that you want. And then we both hop onto Xbox, and uh, we invite people in from Twitter and from Facebook uh, to help us film the myths. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the links to those will be in the description of this video, so you can get on those, and then you'll know when we're filming for these, you can get... Uh, get get joined in. Why would he even say that? You can take part, sorry. Anyway, you can carry on, Chris. <laughs> yeah, and then basically we get all the recording done, and then that's all imported into a Vegas file. And then about three hours later, three or four hours of editing later, Myth Madness is made. It's uh, a, quite a confusing process, but it's, uh, you know, you get used to it, it now. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as all series. We start them off and then, um, you know, you get into the flow of things, but at the start it can be really difficult and time consuming. So uh, we appreciate the, you know, we got some great feedback from you guys off at the start because we, you know, we'd made a few little mistakes in judging how the we should make it, but within a few episodes we had it up to speed and you guys all seemed really happy with it. So that's what it's all about. And actually, there is the uh, MOBE right there. So it's actually pretty sweet because a lot of the mob gameplays you see are just where people sit in the same kind of area and wait for the spawns to flip around them but JDD plays incredibly aggressively in this game and just whips around those spawns and gets those kills yeah I mean uh, JDD I mean I've watched him before he is an absolute beast of a player I've got to be honest yeah and uh, he actually plays for a little bit left, there's a little bit left in the game as you can see. Now he didn't actually pick up as many dog tags as he probably should have done. What are your thoughts on that Chris, playing the objective? Is it something you do or...? Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, right? I'm a bit of a um, kill whore, I'm not going to lie. That's I, I do like to go out and get, get as many kills as possible, but I've got to say, if you're going to play the objective, then do it well, because you know, you're know you not going to win any games without playing it, so you need people to do that. See, one thing I might add is that a lot of the time, actually, people who get mobs, I mean, I've seen you get a fair few, are often accused of not playing the objective. But one thing I always think is that if you've managed to get your team, uh, mob, moab, you've EMT'd the enemy, got six kills, then really it should be on your team to do the rest of the work and win the game, so... Yeah, I mean, that's what I like to do. I mean, on my own channel, I like to bring you know, really high scoring gameplays and mobs as well. So, I do, like I said, I do get a bit of that, you know, why aren't you playing the objective, etc. But that's the way I see it as well. You know, if I'm going to be EMP in the team and killing a load of people at the same time, how isn't that playing the objective, you know? Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, anyway, there's the gameplay. So, it was actually an 86 and 12 gameplay, which is pretty beast. That's us done for now. So, thanks for watching, and we're going to head off and record some Myth Madness. You ready, Chris? Right, let's go and do this. See you in a bit,